Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing and rating BTS red carpet looks. This is part one. There might be a part two coming on August 22nd. There might be a part three in the works. Might be. If you want to be notified, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, YouTube have introduced a new feature called Super Thanks. It's that little love heart icon with the dollar sign. This is a new way for you to say thank you to your favorite creators and give them a little tip. So if you really enjoyed today's video and you would like to make a donation to my channel so I can keep making content like this for you guys every single week, it would be hugely, hugely appreciated. I haven't created a BTS video like this in such a long time and it feels very nostalgic to be sat here in my wrap blazer, just like when I created my BTS airport fashion series back in February. It feels good. <laughs> Anyway, let's jump straight into the first red carpet. Actually, before we get started, let me explain how I'm going to rate these. I'm not going to rate the individual members. I'm going to be rating the overall group look out of 10 and out of 10 purple hearts. We are talking about BTS after all. So I posted in the community section of my YouTube channel and I asked you guys what red carpets you'd like to see features and you guys were not fucking about. There are some amazing recommendations and I had to start with one of my favorites and I'm sure you guys will see why this is one of my favorites. We're starting with the MMA 2019 awards and BTS are in Prada. This set of looks, oh, it's a wet dream. Okay, that's a bit graphic, but it's a dream. It is a dream. <laughs> For me, it's the fact the color palette is so concise. We've got blacks, we've got grays. There are different levels of gray. We've got the flashes of red, that just little pop of red just works so, so well. And it's also tying into the red carpet. For me, it's always a bit awkward when you see people on the red carpet and the color of their outfit really clashes against the color of the carpet. And I don't feel like people really take that into consideration. Another thing I love about these looks is how tailored they are and each member has a very different style of tailoring. We've got double breasted, single breasted, we're snatched in at the waist, we've got coats in that beautiful sheeny satiny fabric on RM. You guys recommended this one hard in the comments and I see why. It's beautiful. Starting with V, he's wearing this beautiful boxy pinstripe suit. To me it looks like it's a notch lapel which is like it's like this lapel where your lapel piece is the same width as your collar piece. His looks quite wide and it goes really well with that boxy fit. Usually the more slim cut something is, the slimmer the lapel and the collar get, the wider it gets, the wider it becomes just because the proportions generally look better that way. The trouser to me looks like a really nice tapered slim cut and it's finishing just at that point below the ankle so it really frames that boot nicely and then it's been worn over the top of that very clean crisp white shirt. My favorite thing about the styling though is this chunky red cardigan worn over the top. It really gives this cozy cuteness to the look otherwise that suit would be very structured very sleek and the knitwear just adds this really nice element over the top you don't really see cardigans or knitwear worn over suits and it's just fantastic styling and the red really gives that beautiful pop on the carpet sugar's look has to be one of my favorites this is like a dream fall winter look for me the fact that we've got that very textural knit and it comes down into that very deep v-neck and you can see that the knit is quite open because you can see the white shirt underneath i like the fact as well they've kept the top button open on the shirt it just makes it a bit more smart casual and then we've got that same kind of trouser as v where it hits him right above the ankle these look like more of a straight cut than a slim tapered and then he's got that belt and it looks like it comes around and comes sticking out it's so fantastic i want this look in my winter wardrobe catch me in a video in it rm is serving up the matrix vibes i love this look so much move over neo move out Move on, RM is here. Ah, he looks fucking hot. Here we have this tailored coat in this beautiful satin fabric. You can see that it is a notch lapel. It's got three buttons in SB3 in industry terms, and it has that really nice flat pocket. It's just very sleek. It's a really interesting take on a suit jacket. It's a really nice proportion as well. It finishes 
just below the knee, which works really well on his body. And then he's got slim cut trousers that hit right the top of the shoe in that same fabric. And I like the fact that the shoes are painting, it's giving different levels of shine to the outfit. And then it's just been finished with that crisp white shirt underneath. Again, the top button open, it just stops it looking so like, stuffy and traditional. And then he's got that big knitted red heart where the chest pocket would be attached with that giant safety pin. Hey, hey. And I think Jimin has a giant safety pin on his look as well. This was not planned. Until I have the money to get my Chanel brooch, this giant safety pin is gonna have to do, okay? <laughs> Jungkook is wearing this really nice black double-breasted suit. We can see that this is a DB4 double-breasted four button. This is another notch lapel. And what I really like about this jacket is that the fit of it is very contemporary. It's very boxy and it's quite subtle. What I really like about this is the very subtle Prada branding on that chest pocket. You can see that it's that classic triangle shape. It looks like leather with like the red plaque on top of it and maybe metal. I just think it's really sleek and it's that little pop of red that's tying into the color palette of this look. The little accents of red really make this. Underneath to me, it just looks like he's wearing a black granddad collar shirt. This is a shirt that doesn't have the collar fall that folds back down. It's just that piece that stands up around the neck. So it's called a stand when it comes to pattern cutting. Looking at the full length shot of Jungkook, he's got these wide leg trousers on. I love the silhouette of this. I feel like I'm giving off a similar vibe to Jungkook. I mean, he's not shirtless underneath his jacket. I am, and I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> I'm fully exposing myself here. Yes, usually when I wear this jacket, I wear it with like a shirt underneath or a vest. Then I wear black wide leg trousers and then chunky boots. And Jungkook is giving me that stompy boy aesthetic. Look at these clunky, chunky shoes. I love them with the cleated sole. Prada, will you dress me please? please. Moving on to Jin. In this shot of him here, it looks more like a navy suit, but then looking at the full like group shot, it looks more black. I just, it's probably like a blue undertone black, that's why. We can see that his suit is a lot more classic and that suits Jin's personal style more. This is a DB6, double-breasted six button. On a traditional DB6, you have your four buttons that sit the same width apart, and then it's your two top buttons that sit slightly further, so they go out as a diagonal, and I'm getting that in this shot here. Again, a very classic crisp white shirt underneath. His is done up, and it suits the classic vibe of the suit, and then he's got these slim cut trousers on that are cropped just below the ankle, so it really frames that boot nicely. I like the fact as well he's got the giant safety pin, he's got that pocket square in pink. For me, it would have been better if it was red, just because it would have kept the color palette a lot more concise, but the pink really, really works here, and Jin just looks beautiful as always. Shot Cora, Jimin's look is another favorite of mine. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> When I first saw Jimin's look, I thought it might be a jumpsuit, but actually looking at it, I think it might be a suit jacket tucked into a pair of high-waisted trousers. Suits are not usually styled like this, but I absolutely love it. And you can see that he's got two belts going around the waist. He's got that long leather belt through the belt loops of the trouser, the end sticking out. And then above that, he's got that fabric belt snatching him in at the waist. It's so fantastic. I like the fact as well, he's got the white shirt buttoned all the way up. It's very clean. It works with this vibe because this is a very contemporary way of doing suits. And then he's got that giant safety pin, that knitted red heart. I think he's got a black one over the top of it as well. I just, I love this look. It's very Jimin. Jimin, I'll be stealing this from you. And then to me, it looks like he's got a straight fit trouser that comes down to the shoe. And then he's just wearing a really nice black lace up shoe. It's just, it's very sleek. It's very slick. It's very Jimin. <laughs> I stand. Finally, we've got J-Hope. This has to be another favorite for me and J-Hope's really come through recently and been like hitting that bias spot for me. I think J-Hope might be my BTS bias wrecker. Again, I originally thought this was a jumpsuit, but looking at this single shot of J-Hope, it is a suit that's been tucked into the trouser. And if you had a jumpsuit that was double-breasted and then a normal trouser, you would have to cut 
the panel so it's wide here then comes back in which could be a bit strange and you can see zooming into the waist you can see like the gathered lines where it's been tucked in. I love this. It's a very slim cut suit, very structured, very structured shoulders, very beautiful contemporary. I'm guessing it'll be a DB6 where these buttons are coming up high. I like the done up collar on this. Again, it's very contemporary, it works. And then we've got that slim cut trouser that comes down and hits just above the shoe. He's wearing that same chunky stompy boy aesthetic shoe as Jungkook. And then it looks like he's got some kind of chain on one side and then that beautiful belt wrapping around. This is one of my favorite looks. I think Sugar, Jimin and J-Hope have my favorite looks from this set. I'm gonna give BTS in Prada at the MMA 2019 awards 10 purple hearts. Just a Fucking beautiful collection of looks on the red carpet here. Next up, we have the Mama 2019 Awards. Question here, is it pronounced Mama or is it M-A-M-A? -A? Let me know in the comments, please. I need to get that right. Here we have BTS in Celine, and this is a completely different vibe to the Prada looks we just saw at the MMA Awards. I do like it, but I must admit, I do prefer the Prada looks, and I think that's just because that's more my aesthetic whereas this this is very contemporary fashion straight off the runway the color palette is very concise again and there's lots of different tones like on Jimin we've got that like metallic champagne color and then on J-Hope we've got that gold leather jacket it's just playing on different tones and there's a really nice mixture of fabrics that have sheen fabrics that are matte for me these aren't as cohesive as the previous looks because we've got members in jeans members in trousers rm in those really like sheeny khaki pants so it's not as cohesive as the prada looks for me but i still think it's a very beautiful combination of looks and uh, i would say more high fashion and contemporary than the previous looks this was contemporary tailoring whereas this is contemporary ready to wear fashion starting with v on the left this is giving me modern day cowboy vibes i think it's because we've got that like taupey brown suede boot the jeans the denim shirt it's giving me kind of like a low-key 70s vibe with that wide collar that's been styled above the collar of the jacket we can then see over the top, he's got this pinstripe double-breasted jacket. To me, it looks like a DB6. I think this is a notch lapel zooming in. And then we can see he's got that red flower lapel pin. I do really like this. It's a very interesting way to style a double-breasted pinstripe jacket as that is a very classic piece of men's tailoring. And I like it. It's like 70s cowboy businessman. <laughs> All coming together in one but it does really work for me next up we have sugar in the snakeskin bomber jacket for me it's not my favorite i think it's because we've got this really bold snakeskin jacket and then zooming in you can see you've got that striped shirt underneath in similar tones and for me the stripe and the snake print it just doesn't it doesn't work for me it's not bad it's a nice look but it's just it's not my favorite here i like the shirt and i like the slim cut jeans with the black boots i feel like that's a very like staple bts style of outfit but for me it's just a bit too clashy on the prints moving on to Jin, i think this is very classic and it's definitely got a really nice smart casual vibe to it we've got that white shirt the collar poking out of the jacket. And then to me, it looks like a navy wool jacket with gold buttons. Again, that's another very classic menswear piece. You'll find this in a lot of classic menswear brands who focus on formal wear. I like the fact it's been styled with jeans and the boot, and you can see that the jean finishes just at that point below the ankle, so it really frames the boot nicely. I like the fact as well, it's not been styled with a belt just because it gives it a very kind of like effortless contemporary vibe to the outfit do i think it's the most red carpet ready outfit i've seen no but, but i don't know if the mama awards are slightly more casual than other award ceremonies i don't know that much information but i do really like this look it's very clean and i feel like it's very to jin's taste jungkook's look i don't want to say it but it's probably my least favorite out of this set of looks and i just think it's because the print on this coat is very light we've got that very light beige with that very warm brown running through it it's kind of like a camouflage print parts of it look like feathers the actual jacket itself is very nice but i think with the black underneath the black's too heavy for the color of the coat 
I think Jungkook's look would have worked better if he had a white shirt on underneath, similar to Jin's, and then also a similar pair of jeans, just because it really would have worked with that lighter color palette of the coat. Like, imagine this. Imagine we took off Jungkook's coat and Jin's blazer and they swapped. I think that would work a lot better. The pieces themselves are nice, but as I said, I just think that black layer underneath the black shirt, the black trousers of the boots, it's just too heavy for that coat. I think RM's look here is my favorite and I just think it's the hat. He looks so fucking good in a hat, like in that Louis Vuitton show in the hat, killed me, killed me. And he's doing it again here. What I really like here is the color palette of RM's look. We've got that really acid wash denim jacket with all of the studding going around it. The stud detail is so beautiful and it's not something you traditionally see on a denim jacket. It's more of a leather jacket feature. So I really like the fact that they've combined that together. And then you can see he's got that same red floral lapel pin as V. I really like this. I like that flash of black underneath the shirt that's been unbuttoned, the white vest. And then we've got these high shine khaki trousers. They look to me like quite a straight cut because there isn't much of a taper between the width of the ankle and the width of the thigh. And then it's been worn over that black boot. I really like the play of texture in RM's look. And I think for me in the intro of this collection of looks, I was saying that this is very contemporary ready to wear. And I feel like RM's look is the prime example of this. Next up we have Jimin and I hate to say it, this is another least favorite look out of this set. As I said about sugars, it's not a bad look. It's just my least favorite. Comparing Jimin's Celine look here compared to the Prada look at the MMAs, it's just worlds apart for me. I do like this sheeny champagne color bomber jacket with that scarf. It really ties the red into the other members' looks, like the pops of red on V's and RM's. But I think for me, it looks like he's just got a very like scoop t-shirt or vest underneath that stripe of black jeans. For me, it's just, it's not as interesting as like RM's, Jungkook's or V's. And I don't want to say that, but that's how I feel. <laughs> Finally, J-Hope's look. I kind of feel the same as I said about Sugars and Jimin's. It's a nice look, but it's just not my favorite. And again, compared to the Prada look, it's just, it's not really doing it for me. I like the jacket, it's very bold. And then as I said before, the slim cut jeans, the black boots, I feel like it's a very like BTS staple start of a look. I think what's going on is that I'm comparing everything to the Prada look at the MMAs and everyone looks so cohesive, so slick. Whereas I look at these looks and I understand that it's very contemporary, ready to wear menswear, but there's three looks here that I like and four looks where I'm like, not my favorite. So I think on a reflection of that, BTS at the Mama 2019 Awards in Celine is gonna have to be an eight heart from me. I feel bad. If you've made it this far into the video, you should hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload or part two of BTS red carpet review. The leather trench coat. Fuck. <laughs> no other words can describe that one. Fuck. Let me say that again. Fuck. <laughs> this is why J-Hope is a bias record for me. I'm literally looking at him here like, I'm crushing a new hard right now. But where's the paneling? Where's the military vibe? At one point I was like, fuck, I'm gonna give this an 11 out of 10. I'm gonna throw the rule book out the window. I've had a great time filming this video. It's been very nostalgic. I do really love sitting down and depicting BTS's fashion. What you should do next, if you've not seen it already, is go check out my BTS Louis Vuitton show reaction. I'll leave a little card up here in the top screen for you, as well as a link in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in what, two weeks for part two. So I'll see you then. Bye guys.